Hey everyone, please support what I do to help keep Greyhawk alive by subscribing to the channel. Also, please consider becoming a channel member to get early access to videos, exclusive live chats, quarterly adventure modules, and more. Thanks, and enjoy the show. So, in the past week, uh, there's been a lot uh, going on with the OGL and, and various things, and I wanted to give an update on how all that affects uh, the uh, blog and the YouTube channel today on Greyhawk Grognard. So, as you have doubtless heard, um, Wizards of the Coast released the first draft of their 1.2 OGL, um, conveniently dropping the 1.1 designation like a hot rock. Uh, and um, uh, I wanted to give an update on what's going on with uh, the channel and the and the YouTube and the and the blog. Um, I've had a lot of time to think about it. Uh, I was uh, at one point, you know, I, I posted that I have issues supporting Wizards of the Coast and, and the setting that they own. Um, given that a lot of thought, and while I still feel strongly that I don't want to support Wizards of the Coast anymore, um, a lot of people reached out and a lot of comments, and, and I've read some things from other uh, Greyhawk uh, fan producers, and Greyhawk is more than Wizards of the Coast. Um, Greyhawk existed before TSR existed. Greyhawk existed before Wizards of the Coast, and Greyhawk will exist after uh, Wizards of the Coast sells the brand or the setting or whatever. So I'm going to be sticking with my content as I've been doing it, uh, as long as Wizards of the Coast allows me to. Um, that means that I'll still be doing my read-throughs of old material, um, I will still be working on my war game set in the Flaness. I will still be uh, writing the modules um, uh, that I've been writing, which aren't technically in Greyhawk anyway. So they're just, you know, they're they're in an, another continuity, so to speak, another another uh, parallel plane of the multiverse. Um, so you know, so on that score, things won't change uh, unless. They uh, make a drastic revision to the fan content policy, in which case I'll need to reconsider things. Um, you know, but as things stand today, uh, it's going to be business as usual. I'm sticking with Greyhawk. I will not be promoting uh, any new Wizards of the Coast material um, unless and until they get rid of some of the uh, the items in the 1.2 OGL that I uh, object to. Uh, I don't want to get into the details, but um, they're they're essentially trying to kneecap third-party publishers, including myself. And um, you know, fans like us are getting um, kind of caught in the middle. We I know that they're not looking at the Greyhawk Ragnar channel and thinking, ah, they're the, that's my target. That's why I want to affect by all these changes. Um, but they are inadvertently in their war against third-party publishers. Um, they are impacting what uh, what we do. But you know. As, as long as they'll let me, as long as I don't get a cease and desist order, uh, I'll keep doing what I'm doing, and I'll keep supporting the uh, Greyhawk community, even if I don't support the um, the, Grey, the current Greyhawk owners. So, just wanted to get that out there, let everybody know what's going on, which is uh, full steam ahead. Um, there'll probably be another different um, update for BRW Games at some point. Um, but, you know, the BRW Games is a separate entity from Greyhawk Grognard, so I'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'll do that through the appropriate channel. Thanks, have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching today's video. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Below you'll find links to my Patreon, which helps make these videos possible. You'll also find the web store, where you can buy my books, and my blog, where you'll find all sorts of free downloads and other articles. Thanks, and have a great day.